electric cars, electric bicycles, electric this and that, and now electric bikes. Phew, I like electric bikes. Get your motorbike news in a pleasant way. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next episode. The Elon Musk of motorcycles, Mark Truman. He used to work at Jaguar's White Space, an out-of-the-box ideas division. And after he got bored there, he decided to make his own electric motorcycle. We've developed the most technologically advanced motorcycle on the market. So he got together with a bunch of really clever people, not just from the well-established motorcycle world, but also from Formula One and MotoGP. They sat together in a room and decided to tackle motorcycle building from zero. And 50,000 man hours later, that's like one man working for almost 25 years at his normal nine to five job, this was born. The Arc Victor, the Tesla of motorcycles. Fully electric, this cafe racer has 133 brake horsepower and almost 300 foot-pounds of torque. Weighing only 220 kilograms, almost 500 pounds, this bike will take you from zero to 60 miles an hour in a whopping 3.1 seconds. As a comparison, the Tesla Model S does that in 4.8 seconds. That's a whole 1.7 seconds slower. But as we know with electric, all of that comes with a price. The rider takes a back seat in the whole riding experience. No gears to change, no feedback from the engine because there is no engine. No noise to let you know that you're redlining it. But Marky Mark thought of that as well. The bike comes as a package with a jacket and a helmet. The helmet has a heads up display where you have access to all of the info that you could ever want and the jacket, using its haptic motors, will either tickle you if you're riding nice or prod you if you're being reckless. The reported range is about 200 miles on the Vector and that's more than enough for a day's ride. I can't wait to see when they bring out an adventure model of the Vector. Maybe they'll cover it in solar panels and you and McGregor can take it to Africa. Ah, dreams. So how much do you think one of these will set you back? Less than BMW's 1250 GS, let's say? More? 30k, 40k, 90k. Yes, that's how much. You could get this, or you could get six VW Golfs. Technology moving forward obviously has a price. And that price is 90k. If that's a bit too much for you to swallow, Husqvarna also released an electric dirt bike, targeted to young dirt bikers or even beginners that want to get into the sport. The Husqvarna EE5 is designed to mimic the 50cc mini range of dirt bikes. With a tiny 8 horsepower electric motor, this bike will have you tearing up the dirt track from anywhere between half an hour and two hours depending on your skill level. Charging only takes about an hour, so the fun can continue all day long. No pricing announced yet, but I'll put my money in around 5,000. Available from summer 2020. If you can't wait to get your kid on one of these bikes, don't despair. KTM has also released a small electric dirt bike with very similar specs to the Husqvarna. Also, very similar looks. Actually, just the colors differ. And theirs is coming in summer 2019, so your little brat can go out and have fun all day long. Kids today are spoiled. I never had any of these toys when I was growing up. All I had was this stick. He was my friend. We used to play all day long. No electric dirt bikes for us. No 90,000 electric motorcycles for our parents. It was just him and me. Electric motorcycles aren't a new thing. The first one was made in 1911 and had a range of about 100 miles. At the moment, we have bikes that are already on the market from many different companies aimed at many different customers, from scooters to dirt bikes. Price, however, is still a huge limiting factor. So when that goes down, we'll see a lot more electric motorcycles on the road. So what's your stance on electric motorcycles? Are you excited about them? Do you think only maniacs drive them and they are spoiling motorcycling? Let me know in the comments below. 
As usual, like this video if you've learned something new and consider subscribing. It really helps us out a lot. Cheers and see you on the next one.